Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my recent uploads, whether they be dance related or beauty related. Today I have a very, very exciting product that I want to introduce all of you to and that is the DIY Lash Extension Kit known as Lashify. Now you may have heard about Lashify in the blogs. I know Mr. Manny MUA was not the hugest fan of the product, but I'm actually here today to explain a little bit about why it is so fabulous and why he got it wrong. Now this system is non-damaging and is perfect for all of us who are quarantined at home right now. Because let's face it, going into a salon right now and spending all that money on lash extensions just makes no sense. Whereas this kit is perfect for you, right at home and you can apply it yourself. Now the way these lashes are applied is on the underneath of your lash line, providing a seamless and unclockable look. That's right, when you look down, mama, you are going to have what I like to call lash cleavage for days. If you're like me, sometimes when you put that strip lash on, it messes up the whole makeup in your liner. Well, with these, you keep your makeup just as is, honey, because the lashes are all going underneath. Now, each application can last anywhere from three to 10 days. I've tried both and I've seen amazing results either way. I personally like to use them just as a drag lash, so removing them on and off, but I did try to keep them on for more than one day and baby, they lasted. All of Lashify's bonds are made with biotin, so your lashes are actually being nourished and conditioned while you're wearing the Lashify kit. The Gossamer lashes come in a wide range of styles, lengths, and colors so that you can fully customize your look. I personally love the E's and double E's, which is extreme and extra extreme for that ultimate drag lash. But today we're going to be using a special 420 green lash. And right now, if you use the code LAGANJA from 420 to 427, you'll get your own free pair. And did I mention there's an extra special green wand? That's right, limited edition green wands for 420. Now I'm gonna explain how to use this in just a bit, but before I do, let me tell you, you're gonna want this wand. All right, well that's enough logistics. I think it's time we finally break up into this kit and get lashified. Now for best results with these lash extensions, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a very clean base. I would highly suggest using the Lashify Pre-Cleanse, which removes any dirt and anything from your eyes so that the lashes can last up to 10 days long. Now, if you're like me and you're a queen and you already have your beat on, no worries, the lashes will still last up to three days long with makeup. Now, Lashify also makes this awesome band that you can put around your hair to keep the flyaways out of your face while you're applying lashes, but I'm a queen, honey. I don't need this, I'm a pro. All right, let's break into this kit. First, we're going to make sure our special limited edition green wand is safe for our eyes. So we're gonna put a little condom on our wandum. Now, some people don't like the extra plastic on their wand. They feel like it really kind of stifles the movement. But for me, because I have such sensitive eyes, I really like this plastic sleeve that just slides on and adds an extra layer of protection. Perfect, now the wand is ready to use. What also makes this wand really special is its unique shape. As you can tell, it's got two curvatures. So when you're doing your eyes, it's perfectly shaped for your eye. And then when you go over to the other eye, the second ridge helps keep the wand in place. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a small clamping action. This is what really bonds the lashes to your own lash and helps keep them on for a very long time. Well, I think it's time we get to stacking these lashes, honey. Now I'm gonna start with a black base before I add in my green gossamers to give it that extra special 420 look. The kits come with two gossamers, but you know your girl had to get hooked up with the full lash line in all of the styles. And the way I'm going to do this is by starting in the middle of my lash and starting to work on the outer edges. I like to start with my thicker lashes first and then build as I move outward with the smaller lashes. I'm going to start by using the D14. Now what's really cool about these gossamers is they're shaped just like your eyelid. So you can actually take it to your eye and see what kind of shape you're going to get from each individual style. To begin applying the lashes, we're first going to use the Whisper Light Flexible Bond. Now this product has two unique sides. The first side is my favorite side, which is the white clear bond with a tip. And the second side is a little bit darker with a mascara wand. 
Now, usually what I like to do is go in with the mascara wand first, and you're just gonna wanna get the bottom of your root. So you don't need to do your full lash because that's just gonna make it too sticky. So take your bond and start at the bottom of your root line and bring it up, but only about halfway. There's no need to cover the full lash in the bond. Once your bond has been applied, I like to use the Lashify Blow to just dry out the lashes just a little bit. It's like a little air shower for your eyes. Ooh, ah. Well, now that my eyes are perfectly tacky, I'm ready to lay in the lash. To remove the lash from your gossamer, you're just gonna wanna take your wand and go to the very edge of the lash and pull, just like that. Now, what's really unique about this lash system is it actually is applied to the underneath of your lash line, which gives you the ultimate lash cleavage when you look down. So lift your eye up and take the lash to the bottom of your waterline. Boom, just like that. Then you're gonna wanna bond that lash in place. So turn your wand around, slide on in, and squeeze. Perfect! Now, as I said, I'm just going to work my way towards the inner and towards the outer, adding different lashes and stacking for that ultimate volume look. If you're having trouble with one of the lashes sticking, this is when I highly suggest you go back and use the white side of the Whisper Light Flexible Bond. You can just apply it right where you need a little touch up, a little blow action, and then your lash should stick just perfectly where you need it to. Come on in with that clamp and bond that lash, baby. Okay, so now that I've got both of my base lashes on either side done, I'm gonna start going in and getting a little bit more creative, taking in some of the bigger pieces and putting them on the outer edges, smaller pieces on the inner edges, and then finally, I'm gonna add the green lash. Hello, honey, it's 420. This time, I'm gonna go in with the EE18 for that extra drag lash. You're going to want to reapply some of the Whisper Light Flexible Bond to the bottom of your new lash so that the additional lashes will continue to stick on and build out. Using the same technique as before, I'm gonna take my wand and get the end of my lash and pull it away from my gossamer, lift up the lash line and apply to the bottom. Ooh, look at the drama that adds. And then rinse and repeat on the other side. So now that I've got the lashes evened out on both sides and they're both looking very voluminous, I wanna add a little touch of green to celebrate 420. Now remember, if you use the code LAGANJA on Lashify, you will be getting your own free pair of green gossamers. One of the greatest things about stacking the lashes is, is it gets easier as you go. So in the beginning, you might be new to this and not for sure, but as you stack the lashes, you'll see how easy they are to be applied. So again, I'm going to apply another layer of the Whisper Light Flexible Bond to the underneath of my lash. Let the green begin. See how they kind of just sit right on the lash once I've got my base on there? They just go on so much quicker and easier. And just like that, it's done. Now all we gotta do is clamp and bond. Now I really like these green lashes because they're subtle. Sometimes I think when you add color to your lash, it begins to look fake and a little club kid. But I really like how these still remain very feminine and add just that touch of color. See how easy that wand just glides right on? That's because it's designed for the shape of your eye. And just like that, boom, full fabulous lashes. And how is the lash? Stun! Now before we do the last and final step, I did want to show you the Lashify mirror that I've been using during this tutorial. What's really cool about it is that it actually disconnects from its base so you can use it however you want. And as you see, it's got a front light and it's got a backlight. So either one, depending on what you need. So for your last step, you're going to want to use the glass. This is going to lock your lashes in place and just make sure everything is perfect. Now I know this kit may seem a little bit intense, but you have to understand, 
you're doing lash extensions at home. I mean, this is perfect for a quarantine queen like myself, because I am not trying to spend all that money or risk getting lash extensions during a time like this. So this is perfect, an affordable cost for you to create your own lashes at home. Well, there it is, kitties. That is the way to get lashified. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope you fell in love with this kit as much as I have. I truly have stopped using strip lashes because for me, this is the ultimate art form of lash. And after I spend all those hours on my makeup, why wouldn't I wanna take that extra time to create the perfect lash? So thank you so much, Lashify. I cannot wait for these limited edition green wands to be available everywhere, starting 420 to 427. And don't forget to use your code LAGANJA for your free pair of green gossamers. I love you guys so much. Until next time, stay sickening. Oh, crrr.